And right now, we're uh, very fortunate to spend some time with a former Yankees great pitcher, Ron Guidry, who's uh, joining us now on MLB Central. And, Ron, thanks for uh, calling in. Just to tell us your thoughts now, because I know you had a special relationship with Yogi Berra. Just uh, when you heard the news, uh, what went through your mind? Uh, well, <clears throat> you lose – you lose a national treasure. I mean, he's. He, I've always said one thing about the old man. If he wasn't the most beloved man in this country, then I'm afraid I hadn't met that guy yet. Because everywhere that we went, people just uh, stopped what they were doing, um, you know, to say hello, look, wave. Uh, it was amazing the effect that he had on people. Um, I tell the story all the time about, you know, everybody knows that I used to pick him up at the airport when he'd fly <laughs> in for spring training. And, uh, of course, you know, the airports today, they're pretty strict on their um, on their rules and regulations about parking your truck and leaving your vehicle to go and, uh, you know, look for incoming flights and everything. And, and I, I drove up one day to pick him up at the Tampa airport. And uh, the security guard told me, you know, that I wasn't supposed to leave the truck. And I told the security guard, I said, look, you don't you don't understand. I'm here to pick up Yogi Bear. And that's as far as I got. He just looked at me and he said, you go take care of him. I'll watch your truck. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you know, and that's how it that's how it was with him. It was just uh, it was just a pleasure to be around him. He was, uh, you know, he, quite a man. Uh, that's not. Uh, I'm sure there are many words you could use uh, to find the right one right now at this moment. I don't know if I could come up with it. All I know, it was he was a great friend. I, I, I enjoyed my time with him. I was fortunate that I got to spend a lot of time with him. Well, Ron, and you did because Yogi was a guy who liked his routines. And so when, oh, he, would come, yeah. when he would come down to spring training, I mean, not only would you pick him up at the airport, but – you guys would go to dinner every night, and it was like clockwork, right? Well, yeah, yeah. he had his routine. You know, you you pick him up at 7 in the morning at 7, not 7.01, 7. Okay, not not 6.59, 7. Right. <laughs> you know, and then you, you we get to the park at a certain time, and he has breakfast at a certain time. He has other things that he does at certain times. And then after practice is all over with, you know, then, okay, where are we going tonight for supper? And we had a routine. We had about maybe six restaurants that we 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 would go to in the evening. And we it was like a round robin. You know, the week starts, you go to one. The next night, it's at something else. Uh, because, you you know, you, you're not going to eat fish or seafood every night. So, you know, one night it's steak. One night it's seafood. The next, it might be something else. And then we, we, we'd go through our little round of six restaurants, and then maybe about every 10 days I'd fry his frog legs for him. So that would break up the monotony. And then every once in a while I'd have to, I'd have to tell him, okay, tonight you're staying in your room because I can't eat out every night. <laughs> I, I have to have a cheeseburger once in a while. So, so every once in a while we'd go to a little place and get us a cheeseburger because you can't eat steak every day. Hey, Ron, it's Mark DeRosa. I, I just want you get a chance to spend so much time with him. Did he realize the impact he had on, on, on everybody, not just the Yankees, but just in general? I, I'm, I'm not so sure if he understood that, you know, because I, I, that's not the kind of guy he was. Look, as much as I knew him, um, you know, one of my biggest things was people always would say, um, hey, you know anything about a certain ball player? And, you know, I would go, sure, I know. What you want to know about it? And you know how I knew? That's how – that's our conversations at, in, at night in the evening when we're at supper. I used to ask him, tell me about Mickey Mantle. Tell me about Whitey Ford. Tell me about Casey Stingle. All of the guys that wore that uniform, I got my information from him because he never spoke about himself. Hey, Ron. It, was all, it was always about somebody else. He never spoke about his accomplishments. And, and you know, everybody knows he was in the war. He, 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 he wouldn't let anybody know about it unless you asked him. He didn't come out with it. You had to ask. And I asked him a lot about it, too, you know, about the war. And he told me all about it. But, I, you know, I don't tell anybody what he said. That was between him and I. <laughs> 
And Ron, what about the yogiisms? Were those premeditated oh, look, sort of things, or look, did they look, generally just you, come naturally? Sometimes at supper, he would say things that you'd have to stop eating and ask him to repeat it <laughs> to make sure <laughs> what you heard was what came out of his mouth. It, and it's, it's not rehearsed. It just comes out that way. Ron, thank you uh, very much for calling in. We really appreciate it and spending some time. We know you had a very special relationship with the Yogi Bear, and we know this is a tough day for you, but we appreciate you uh, well, just coming I'm gonna on and sharing some stories. Well, I'm going to remember him. You know, I'm going I'm to have fond memories. Like I said, I was very fortunate to spend so much time with him. Um, you know, I'm losing a good friend, but uh, he was a good friend to a lot of people. Great family man. I know his, my condolences go out to the family all his, you know, all his grandchildren, and uh, it's tough. And, um, you know, we're just, like I said at the beginning, we're, we're, we're losing a national treasure. All right, former uh, Yankee great pitcher Ron Guidry joining us on MLB Central.